These things are getting more and more popular. I'm even starting to see them on my local trails. But what is a fat bike? The first fat bikes were made in 1986 using prototype Michelin tyres to ride over the Sahara Desert. But they really started gaining in popularity for the Iditarod race in Alaska, a thousand miles over frozen lakes and ice. So the biggest, most obvious difference between a fat bike and a normal bike is the size of these tyres. They're designed to give you big flotation so you can ride over things like snow and sand that a normal bike would sink into and actually might be impossible to ride. Fat bike tyres are between four and five inches wide. Compare that to a regular mountain bike tyre, that's a 2.4. Look at the difference. Fat bikes are one of the few remaining bikes that actually still use 26 inch wheels. Compare that to a 27.5 here, and you can still see that the outside diameter of the tire is actually still pretty big. It's more like a 29er. And it's that massive volume of the tire that gives these bikes the riding characteristics that they have. Whilst you do get full suspension fat bikes, more often than not, they're hard tails like this bike or actually fully rigid. Because of the damping you get through these soft tyres, you don't really need suspension quite as much as you would find on a normal bike. So normal tyre pressures for fat bikes are anywhere between 5 and 15 psi, so really low. Down to 5 psi, the tyre will really squirm around, it'll be really good over rocks and roots, things like that. You'll get really mega grip. That's the obvious you know, main design point of these bikes is the wide tyres, but the rest of the bikes are almost designed around that to make it fit. You see rock shocks make this blue toe suspension fork, you can see how much wider it is to make space for that tyre. The hubs are wider, the bottom bracket's wider, and the rear hub as well is much wider to fit that tyre into the frame. So the front hub width on this RockShox Bluto is actually 150 millimetres compared to 100 millimetres on a normal bike. And the rims are much wider as well on a fat bike, anything up to about 100 mil. And that width gives you that big tyre volume that they're really renowned for. So how do fat bikes ride? Well, obviously really well on things they're designed for, like snow where you'll float. On normal trails, there's a lot of rotating mass there in that rim and that tyre, so that does take a little bit of work to get them accelerating from the start and slowing down is a little bit more of a problem, but actually once you're up to speed, they really plough through things. And the biggest difference really is that huge tyre gives you so much grip on the floor, so it's really confidence inspiring. So that's it for what is a fat bike, and really it's all about the size of these tyres. If you want to see more videos from GMBN that are fat bike related, you can click up there for our fat bikes fun and you can click down there for our fat bikes fast where we compare fat bikes against normal trail bikes. And you can always click on the fat bikes and me to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already.